chi-square goodness of fit test in SPSS. The test is performed when there is one categorical variable or nominal variable or ordinal variable. For nominal variable, the variables can have two levels in it, such as male, female, yes, no, life, dead, or nominal, such as profession, doctor, dentist, pharmacist, and scientist. Chi-square test will examine whether there is a difference between the observed counts or frequencies compared to expected frequencies or counts within one categorical variable. Here in this SPSS data view, I had inserted 200 cases for a categorical variable, nominal variable, as shown here for professions. There are four different levels in this categorical variable or nominal variables. Number one is doctor, two is it secretary, three is pharmacist, and four is nurses. First of all, let's look at the proportion or the percentage or the count of each level within this categorical variable. The way to do that is to draw a par chart. Click on graphs, click on chart builder, click on OK, in this window, select the par chart, drag it to this area here, select the variable, drag it to the AX axis. Click on OK. As shown here, a par chart is produced for the four professions within one institution or a hospital. And it shows here that the count or the number of cases for each levels within this categorical or nominal variables for nurses, pharmacists, and secretary and doctors. To test the hypothesis whether there is a difference between the observed count which is in this case given here, compared to the expected count, then the chi-square uh, uh, goodness of fit test for one variable will be performed. To perform the chi-square, click on Analyze, scroll down to Non-Parametric Test, Scroll down to the chi-square and a window will appear here in this window. There is a box for the variable which is proficient. Move that into the test variable list for the exact. We're not going to perform any changes here at this stage or in this video. For options, click on and tick on descriptive. Click on continue. And for these two options here, expected value and expected range, I will not change anything, but I will come back to this and do some changes. If I click on OK, three tables are generated. The first one is descriptive statistics, showing that there are 200 cases. The second table shows that counts or the frequencies for each level within this categorical variable for doctor, secretary, pharmacist, and nurses. The observed as shown here, the lowest is for doctor and the highest for nurses. The software will calculate the expected value for each level. 
and since if there are four levels then the software has assigned 50 cases or 50 frequencies for each level the residual is only the uh, observed value minus the expected value the final table is the one that is important that shows the chi-square test value and the degree of freedom which is n minus 1 in this case we have four levels then 4 minus 1 equal 3 and a p-value of less than 0.05 this test shows that there is a significant differences between the observed frequencies compared to the expected frequencies as shown here so this is the way to do chi-square statistical test analysis goodness of fit test for one categorical data in SPSS going back again to the chi-square test window we could also generate a hypothesis that states there is no equal proportion or number or percentage of levels so we have here or between levels so we have here four levels so we could select that for the first profession which is the doctor there is only uh, let's say 10 percent expected frequencies for the second one is 20 percent i'm going to change that into let's say decimal values remove that into decimal let's say 0.1 and then for the secretary point two and then for the uh, pharmacist point three so thirty percent and finally for the nurses point four which is forty percent i could also add instead of the uh, percent or decimal here or proportion i could add the frequencies or count in the case here for the doctor this could be changed into 0.1 of uh, 200 is 20 the second one will be 40 the third one will be 60 and the fourth one will be 80 click on ok uh, a new analysis is generated and the most important part is the frequencies for the uh, new entered um, expected value as it's shown here the expected value 20 40 60 and 80 for the four levels uh, however the observed value is retained the same and the test shows that again the chi-square is 21.3 and the p-value is less than 0.05 even with setting this hypothesis that there is unequal proportion in the expected uh, uh, frequencies or values there is still significant differences so this is one of the options can be uh, 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 selected in SPSS to test different hypotheses if we go back again into the window for chi square Square test and reset things and drag the profession to the test va variable list and keep the expected values equal and in the expected range I'm going to let's say select analysis for only three levels within this category since we doctor is labeled as one and secretary two and so on I'm going to select number one to number three and omit the nurses from this calculation with, uh, using chi square. If I click on OK, 
tables are generated here, the frequencies shows only three levels the nurses is missing and there are 130 cases in total and the expected value is equal and if we look here the chi-square is 4.6 and the p-value is not significant so this test shows that there is no significant differences between the observed values or frequencies compared to the expected values so there is no differences between uh, or among the levels within this uh, categorical variable.